Hi, uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss a uh, pretty interesting video on exact tri trigonometry ratios and look at this amazing uh, memory trick, which I'll go over. And I like to call it the zero, one, two, three, four trick. Here, and it's pretty, yeah, pretty amazing. So basically, uh, like if you've dealt with exact trigonometry ratios, here's a table of uh, sine cos tan ratios of the the, the angle zero. Then there's 30 degrees or pi over 6, then this is radians, pi over 4 or 45, 60 degrees or pi over 3, and pi over 2 or 90 degrees. And, and basically you have this table, there's uh, other memory tools of do, doing it, of solving these. For example, you could draw triangles, etc., and then memorize what the angles were for each one, where they where they are, etc. You could do that, but uh, but that one, that one, you'll still have to try to memorize something. It's, it's not as easy as what I'll show next. Yeah, so here I've uh, basically made this table with this, but removed all these, and I'll show how to get all of these values. And that's pretty easy. All we could do now is using this zero, one, two, three, four trick. What the first step is to write basically. Let's just write it over here, actually. Zero, one, two, three, four. So that's the first step. That's where I just picked the name for it. So now what we could do now is the next one is just simply divide by four. You'll see that it will end up being the, the exact same answer. We divide by four and everything. Divide by four, and now, yeah, and now we just square root everything. So just square root this, square root that. So all it is is count to four and square and divide by four and square root. So now we square root. This one's going to be equal to yeah, equal to zero. Zero divided by four, zero square root of zero, zero. Now this is going to be one divided by four or a one divided by two. Square root of this is just going to be one over two. Now this one here, the square root of two, you, you don't know it exactly. So this is, and we could also, wait, first we could divide it out. So this, is, this is one over two, is equal to two over four. So this will just be one over square root two. Now, yes, yeah, so that's one over square root two. And now this one here, this one's equal to, well, the top is just gonna be square root three. Square root of four is just two. So we have this, square root three over two. And as you can see, these are so far as exact same, one over two. 1 over 2 squared 1 over 1 over square root 2 square root 3 over 2 now this final one square root of 4 over 4 that's just square root of 1 that equals 1 so we now we have this and there's another pattern this is this goes 0 1 over 2 1 1 uh, over square root 2 th square root 3 over 2 and 1 now this is the same thing but going backwards so all we do now is type this exactly but starting from here so we start off where the 0 was 0 1 over 2 this is 1 over square root 2, so both the same. And now this is going to be this value, square root 3 over 2. Now this one is 1. And now the final one is tan uh, theta. This one we just, you know, this one's equal to by definition sine theta over cos theta. Now this one is just going to be, well, divided out. 0 divided by 1 is, is 0. 1 over 2 divided by square root 3 divided by 2. The 2's cancel. We're left with 1 over square root 3. This one here, this is just the same thing divided by itself. It's going to be 1. This here, uh, square root 3 over 2 divided by 1 over 2. The 2's cancel. They're dividing by the same thing. All we're left with is square root 3. Now this one, 1 over 0, uh, no, 1 divided by 0 is just going to be infinity or, or, or not defined. Because well, you can't divide 0 by infinity. And you know this is basically the same table. So as you see, this exact same table, it's a pretty amazing trick. So you just go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, divide by 4, square root 4, and then you're just going to flip it on this and divide it out, and you're going to get this. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this. Uh, you could download these notes, uh, basically these exact notes, in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.